Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, your host, as it's about to go down. You know why it's about to go down? One, it's Christmas Eve. Two, we got football. Three, about four games of football today, one Sunday. So, it's about to go down, yes. We got the Bears taking on the Bills and more. We got some more offseason moves in baseball and basketball. The Bulls are on the upcoming tear. But those of you who are new to this show, this is not just a show about sports. It's a show that provides music from you, local artists that you support or that you want to hear. Or you just want to hear your music out there. This is that show. Not only we talk about the football, the baseball, and the basketball, but we give you music. And what better way to start a show than to hear some music from local artists that you might know, that you might have heard of, or that you want to hear. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into some music, and then we're going to talk a little bit of baseball. And I'm going to give you some more music. That's how this show is going to go down on Drug Sports Live. So, without further ado, let me introduce you, Elena, Bone to None, Bow to None. Check it out on Dragon Sports Live. Yes, sir.
In 1985, I put in one of my lyrics, uh, J-E-S-U-S, -S, I said, pretty soon they'll be saying that your rapping don't please us, because born again Christians going to be rapping about Jesus. And when I did that, I wanted to put everybody on notice who would hear the lyrics coming from a Christian, that we were serious about what we were doing with the genre of hip hop. That we were not going to be arrogant, but we were going to be confident, and we were going to be relentless to do two things. And all of us, back in those days, all of us, back in those days, in the 80s, we had two goals in mind. The first one was to glorify the Lord with our lyrics, that it would be undeniable as to who we were rapping, representing and rapping about. No, no metaphors, no pronouns. It was straight and direct Jesus. And the second thing was that we wanted to reach the lost. We wanted to declare the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ, to people who knew nothing about Jesus, who had a limited understanding about Jesus, or what it really meant to be a Christian. And that was what we were doing. That was what we did. And little did we know that so many years later, that there would be so many amazing rappers that love the Lord Jesus Christ and reflected what he's all about. Back in the day, we had no idea that it would come to what it has come to. But we sure are glad about that very thing, that people are glorifying the Lord big time with the good news of, the Jesus, good news Christ. of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, that last piece you heard was Day 10, Feeling Dragon Sports Live. And I say, welcome for those who just tuned it in. You, I listen to Dragon Sports Live. If you missed out on some of the good music that was just played, 
worry no further. Because you can catch it on Drag on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Dragon Sports Live, or wherever you get your podcasts. So don't feel bad if you miss it. You can always go back and watch it. Also, check out DragonJumpPro.com. That's DragonJumpPro.com. It's the place to be if you want to see Dragon Sports Live as well. Links will be put on there. Shows will be put on there. Everything will be put on there. But welcome. We got another sighting show. It's Christmas Eve. We got football games happening today. We are live on YouTube. Links has been sent out. We are live on the airways. We are live. This is Dragon Sports Live. I'm going to say it again. I'm Dante Payne, your host. As we embark on another exciting journey of sports and music. And what better way to do that than we're going to talk a little bit about some baseball right now. Because, like I said, we're still in off-season baseball. We just had winter meetings. But we got more signeries. Um, now, the Chicago White Sox, on the other hand, they've been pretty quiet with free agency right now. You, you haven't really been hearing too much about them. But they did give Andrew Benedine a five-year deal. So, that is a good benefit. And that was like the first, yeah, it was the first sign in a while. So, they have done that. But they still been quiet about things. We want to see what's going to happen with, we already seen, was it Abreu? Yeah, Jose Abreu leave. But we want to see how they're going to bounce back and how they're going to build. Yeah, we're going to be getting players like Lamb Hendricks back from um, injury. Tim Anderson back from injury. A lot of those people got injured last year. Like, the Sox was riddled with injuries all last season. So, it's like, we want to see how they bounce back. And I'm hoping they be a little bit more active during free agency. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes from there. How it overcomes, how they overcome that. Mm. I also got a crook in my neck, so don't mind me from making certain neck movements and just trying not to aggravate the crook in my neck. So, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes that happens to come from the, how you sleep and just how you get down with stuff. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm excited for tomorrow because tomorrow's Christmas. Get to see me to me. So that's a good thing. Um, Cubs, they've been very active during free agency. So they signed shortstop Dansby Swanson to a seven year, $177 million deal. What's, what's crazy about that is that deal, it's the second highest since 2017 when they signed, was it Jason Hayward? To the contract, this massive contract extension, 2015-2016. So, that's that. Welcome to the fold. But that also, they released, well, not released, but designated Anthony Rivas for um, destination. So, meaning that he'll become a free agent. Um, They are... Like I said, they've been quite busy. Cody Ballinger, um, and Ballinger's just probably trying to revamp his career since he struggled last season. So let's see what this new look Cubs would do when when the games come or spring training. Let's see. Austin Hodges, the catcher, he joins the Pirates on a. Five million in one year deal. Like some of these deals, just for one year, I get five mil. Let me be a catcher. I'll, I'll catch some balls. I'll, I'll make some good plays. I don't even want a mil. Me, I don't want five mil. I just want two million. Because what I'm going to do is take about a portion of that, buy myself a new crib, get my parents a new crib, get another car. And then I'm going to invest. And then I'm going to plan for my son's, you know, 
his college stuff if he want to go. Or if he want to do something spectacular, I'm going to plan for that. That's simply the best way to go. So I'm going to try my best to plan for that, and I'm going to get it cracking. But anyways, that's that. Uh, we had a couple other signings that happened. Pull out my handy-dandy notebook, guys. Yes, I still use a notebook. A.K. my laptop. I said use it. See? Check out the laptop. Y'all see it. Oh. Carlos Correa switches gear. So he was originally supposed to sign with the Giants, but I guess some complications of his fiscal or something didn't go through right. So now he switches gears and he's signing with the Mets. 12 year, $315 million contract for 12 years. It would have been 366 with the Giants, but 315 with the Mets. And it's official. He already signed. But whatever happened, like, I'm curious to what happened, the breakdown, like, why y'all decided not to sign him and decided to go a different route. So I was curious with that. You never know because we're not inside the front office. We're not, so we don't know what's going on, what's cracking. We don't know those things. We just know it's about to go down in baseball. That's all we know. We know people are getting better. People are progressing. We know many things, but that's one thing we do not know. Um, Angels, Brandon Dury agrees to a two-year deal worth $17 million. And then again, the Mets and Cubs have been pretty busy. Mets uh, get reliever Adam Artrevio agreed to a two-year deal. And the Royals will get right-hand pitcher Jordan Lyles, he agrees to a two-year deal. Padres signed Matt Carbon to a one-year contract. Like I said, it's more signings happening in baseball than... Yeah, we got more signings happening in baseball. So it's like, this is the time to sign, but I still want to see more from the White Sox. I want to see more. Like, we had struggles. We had injuries last year, so I... Definitely want to see more. And I might have just got my wish. Because I said I want to see more from the White Sox. We got another signing that just recently happened. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's all about who we acquire. So, White Sox acquired reliever Gregory Santos from the Giants, who basically gave up minor league pitcher Kade McClure. This trade happened Thursday. I don't know why I didn't see this, but it happened. Santos has made five appearances in the past two years for San Francisco. He's a 23-year-old right hand, has a 4.63 ERA. And that's over 35 appearances and two starts. He's been between AAA Sacramento and Arizona Complex League. Giants black last, last season, so he has a 3.6 ERA and 97 appearances, including 47 starts. And we got rid of, so we basically traded for younger because the person that K. McClure, he was 28 and had a 4.3, a 4.3 ERA over 108 games and 59 starts in five minor league seasons with the White Sox. So, we're getting younger pitchers, which is cool, but can they fair up? Are they multi-talented? Like, in case y'all don't forget, a high ERA, like you don't want your ERA to be going up. You want it to stay low. At least a two, at least a one, if possible, maybe a three, but 
four and five and six, nah, you don't want it to go up. You want to keep going down. Because the ERA is an earn run allow, everybody, in case you don't know. Just a little b- baseball terminology, earn run allow. So that's what's happening with that. Blue Jays trade Morindo. Yeah, so Blue Tra- ah, can't I can't get his name out. Blue Jays get Dalton Marshall in a trade with the Dimex and they sit outfielder. Oh wait, my, yeah, he's going to the Blue Jays and then Gabriel Moreno. And he's a catching prospect as well as outfielder Lewis Garrell Jr. They're both heading to the Diamondbacks. So, we're going to have a lot of trades happen during this this little break, I guess you want to call it. But, we'll see. Now, y'all know the fame... Dodgers, that was, he's basically been reinstated after the suspension cut to 194 games. It was an issue of 324 game suspension for violating major league domestic violence and has been reduced to 194 games by an independent arbitrator who also reinstated him. So Trevor Bauer is back. Bauer has served 144 games of that suspension. But since he gave him credit for a time, he served on NBA MLB's restricted list in the second half of the season. So, Bauer will be docked paid for the first 50 games of the 23 season, but will be officially reinstated Friday. So, that's big news. That gives them another pitcher. Now, I don't know if he's in game shape, if he's been staying in game shape, just trying to stay ready. Oh, well, then it's complication. So, the Dodgers organization is basically will have 14 days until January 6th to determine whether to release him or add him to the 40-man roster. So, we'll see what happens with that. Like, are y'all going to keep him or are y'all going to let him be free? <coughs> My bad. But if he's in game shape, I'm pretty sure if he gets released, teams will pick him up. And we'll see what what goes from that. I want to know what he's been doing, like, during his suspension. What has he been doing? Because it's uh, also unpaid. So you're not – he was getting paid before, but it was unpaid, so – what has he been doing? Has he been working out? Has he been still training? That's the questions that I would like to know. And we'll find out. But that's just a part of life. So you can't help what happens in that part of life. It's how you overcome it and how you conquer it. And with that being said, we got more news coming up. We got NFL Stuff we got basketball stuff, NCAA stuff, bowl game stuff, people into the draft stuff. We got a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna give you more music from you, people that you want to hear. Like people want to hear your music, so we're gonna give you more music. Now this next song that's coming up on Dragon Sports Live is by Mr. Dark Eye, and it's called Life. Check it out here on Dragon Sports Live. No soul, yes, sir. No soul. I used to let this world I'm living in control me. I did it the way they told me. R.I.P. to the old me. I'm doing what they thought could never be done. Nothing but open road ahead of me. Destiny, here I come. Ready to get it as I'm headed out the doorway. I know the Lord watching over me, protecting me. 
Keeping me covered, never leave me disappointed. I live my life on purpose. This is premeditated, but name for certain my mind is made. Even when I was afraid, I never let it stop me. Gotta take it all away. Made it through when they thought I would fold up. Seen the looks on their faces when they see me roll up. And God we trust. That's the motto. I'm in live eternal. You can miss me with that yellow. Give them the good news, tell them what they don't know. Like this information is priceless and life is beautiful. I'm loving it. This is the life. This is the life. Yeah, I'm living the life, the greatest ever. You ain't gotta agree. The science is highly unlikely or even impossible. You would think like me. I never rest this trust the process. I put time in. Walked in the front door, no sign in. I'm not honorary. Never need security, cause don't nobody bother me. I don't invite that kind of energy. That's my philosophy to God in me. Got me protected from any weapon that's formed. He knows I'm hungry. He wants me to move forward. My gift that made room pass and pushes me through. Don't need permission from you. God gave me his cue. That's the reason I'm here. I'm the number one draft pick. The job was tough, but he knew I can handle it. Been here for a minute. What you hear in this experience? Dreams come true. Confirmation. We killing it. This is the life. This is the life. Yeah. Life is beautiful. I wake up and do whatever I wanna do. Follow my dreams and broke rules with no clues. I made moves that generated revenue. Switch my position, got a better view. I listened to the voice of God instead of you. Had some tough decisions, but I made it through. You want a bad love, you know what to do. Huh. It was all a dream. Put the pen to the paper, wrote it down, made it plain. I don't care about no hate, I'ma still do my thing. Pray for you later, hope to God that you change. Cause I am who I am, unashamed, so bold. Out loud, hear me now, so cool, ice cold. I was torn, reborn, new beginning, new soul. Turned up, never down, never seeing, this is now. This is the life. Yeah. Bring it up. <laughs> Young black in America, they 51 to area. How the alienators? Either that or you bury us. Cages in with your barriers. How we learn to embarrass us? On our way to Damascus, that's when God would demask us. Yeah. Y'all know what it look like when that vision blurry. Y'all know not to go to bed when that kitchen dirty. No, when I get to cooking, it feel like Stephen Curry. Just know your story means something, get a 30 for 30. I can depend on you people, show me how to do evil. Just to watch my demise, they line up at the regal. Yeah, the message is strong, but the messenger feeble. That's how I pain give you strength, cause the method is legal. I learned that struggle ain't forever and rain falls even. We even know to expect it depending on the season. Though I believe I seem extra and keep overachieving. I ain't trying to give you a lecture, but I got a couple of reasons. We gon' double up what you stole from us. We gon' bundle up for these cold summers. We can't level up with these old numbers. If y'all want talk, then we gon' need the whole honest. Uh, honestly, I'm a prophecy. I came for nothing to try to bottle me. I'm the exception, we are the prodigies. We gon' need a new set of domestic policies. How y'all handle my family, my business, right? That's just me being a man, I mean that's simple, right? The plan is to live, I gotta tuck in my kids at night. If you want me gone, you gotta put in your bid, right? God add value, I put the choir on it. You never know what's gold until the fire on it. We coming out the projects, make you a liar, don't it? Being oppressed for so long, make you a survivor, won't it? That's why my mama, Michelle Obama, I seen her come up. I seen the drama, they starve so much they can't even throw up. I seen the drama, the problem with that is they don't grow up. Or it's too fast, karma, what that is, soon they blow up. 
Overwork in our community for next to nothing. Only time that we can catch up is next to mustard. Baking soda with it. I'm saying too much, y'all know the hustle. But with that said, we need another plan or we in trouble. We gon' double up what you stole from us. We gon' bundle up for these cold summers. We can't level up with these old numbers. If y'all wanna talk, then we gon' need the whole honest. Uh, honestly, I'm a prophecy. I came for nothing, they try to bottle me. I'm the exception, we are the prodigies. We gon' need a new set of domestic policies. Death on the daily, pray for these babies and these baby fathers who don't see their father daily. Pray for these mamas who became mamas when they babies. Pray for them babies. See how many times I can rephrase it because we keep repeating. Yeah, that's power when we need it. Eat and be greedy for every pot that's in a feeny. Yeah, <laughs> see, Miss Shakira know to keep us pure. A little rough around the edges, but a steady car. God had a plan for me since 84. Born in 85, I was live since I cut the cord. I know the truth from the lies and what you point me towards. Even eighth grade science learned to study force and quarter source. My compass always pointed north. I'm from the south. We don't get paid for doing chores. You learn to cook. You clean up when you finish yours. So now we eating. What exactly you take us for? Struggle. So my smile stay. Must have lost my focus. Broke down, no one back in my way. I don't know how I got here, but I'ma be okay. Man, the devil trying to play me. No, the devil can't play. No, I'm okay. It's a brand new day. I'ma be okay. My God's so great. So I look his way. Cause I still got faith. I still got faith. It's a brand new day, and I'ma be okay. Trapped in a struggle, I'm sorry, but this song may never be released. I just need my peace, I just need to pray, I just need to say, I just want to talk to you in a way. So this is my confession, I'm a sinner at heart. I think I learned my lesson, now I'm back to the start. It's beauty in the struggle, so my smile stay. Must have lost my focus, broke down, no one back in my way. I don't know how I got here, but I'ma be okay. Man, the devil trying to play me, no, the devil can't play, no, I'm okay. It's a brand new day, I'ma be okay, my God's so great. So I look his way, cause I still got faith, I still got faith. It's a brand new day, and I'ma be okay. I'ma break away, live another day Save me from myself, save me from the pain If I think about it, ain't a way around it Now I'm awake and I'm humbled about it, yeah So I gotta grow up, even though I've been growing in the moment But the moment can't stop, but you get trapped In mistakes that you already had, so you take that sin and Do it again, you do it again Do it again, we did it again I can't believe There's beauty in the struggle, yeah so my smile stays, must have lost my focus, broke down, now I'm back in my ways, uh, I don't know how I got here, but I'ma be okay, man, the devil trying to play me, no, the devil can't play, no, I'm okay, it's a brand new day, I'ma be okay, my God so great, so I look his way, cause I still got faith, I still got faith.
I could complain if I wanted, but how could I truly? You notice the difference if you really knew me. I fell a few times, but I got up. I'm smiling. I'm proof that he's good and that no man's an island. The struggle, it made me, it changed me, it helped me, it built me, it mowed me, it ain't no complaining. You hear what I'm saying? I'm grateful what he told me. He's leading me boldly. If I could just look up and focus on you, I know struggles might happen, but I'll make it through. I can't do it without you. I just make a mess of it. Yes, it is. Things that I wrestle with. Yes, it is. But your love is heaven sent. My faith is stretching it. You give me my relevance. They say that they never win. But here's what I'm telling them. There's beauty in the struggle. So my smile stay. Must have lost my focus. Broke down, now I'm back in my way. I don't know how I got here, but I'ma be okay. Man, the devil trying to play me. No, the devil can't play, no, I'm okay. It's a brand new day. I'ma be okay, my God's so great. So I look his way, cause I still got faith, I still got faith. It's a brand new day. And I'ma be okay. Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, and if you just tuning in, you just missed the great, awesome sort of music that just happened right before we started talking about our football. Oh no, you didn't really miss it, but you can go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Our Radio, or wherever you get your music to get everything that you miss. So. It is Christmas Eve, and we got football games that's going on right now. Let's go down and listen to the games that's playing right now. Right now, we got Cincinnati versus New England. Buffalo versus Chicago. Atlanta versus Baltimore. Detroit versus Carolina. New Orleans versus Cleveland. And New York Giants versus Minnesota. Kansas City versus Seattle. Them more games that's happening right now. We got more later, but them little slew of games that's happening right now. So, with that being said, Chicago has scored their first touchdown. Um, Yeah, Chicago is on the board with seven, leading the way. And they're going against the Bills right now. Now, we 3-11, and 2-5 and five at home. So, hopefully we can... Get four wins on the column. I just want to see the Bears finish at least with, I'm going to say five wins. Or well, if we go on three game win streak, six wins. At least. And y'all know who caught that touchdown for the Bears? That was Mr. Dante Pettis. Not Dante Payne, but Dante Pettis. So. He caught that touchdown. Big ups to them on that. Let's see what the Bears can do. Let's see what's rocking with them. But two more games that's on going ongoing right now. One of them is the Bears. Like I said, we got Cincinnati on the board. They missed the field goal, though. They on the board with six. And others are battling away right now. So once I'm done with the show, I will be flipping back and forth between football and whatever's on today, be flipping the channels. I wish I could do picture in picture. Oh, uh, wait, I can. I can do my iPad with one game and then do the other game on my TV. That's how we're going to do that. And then I watch both games at the same time. So, more news. So, like the Texans, that game um was delayed. That game was going to be delayed to about 205, 202. Which is like one something. Um, it's just because they had power outages at the. They was the, is yeah, it was delayed by power outage. So that game is sacked. Jaguars did lose their. Um, cold sack leader, he Dwayne, Dumin Smoot, he's out for the season torn Achilles. So. He's done. 
And that happened in the last game. He had underwent the MRI and found out it's a torn Achilles. And this is when that victory, that 19-3 victory over the New York Jets. So he's done for the season. And that's a long roll ahead because it's like towards the end of the season. That's like a whole year injury. Ugh. Sucks. Um, <laughs> Brock Purdy, ladies and gentlemen, he does it again. The 49ers clinched the NFC West title last week. So, <laughs> that was... That was, you know, that was good. And that was a 21-13 victory over the Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks. They basically led that game the whole entire way. And then they didn't look back. They didn't look back at all. They literally just kept their foot on the gas and kept going. And like I said, it's pretty good for this young man who's doing exceptionally well, especially being the last pick in the NFL draft. That's like... Hmm, who does that remind me of? Oh, yeah, Isaiah Thomas. Who is not current, not currently with a team, I think. I think he's still a free agent or playing in the G League. But he has mad game. He led the Celtics before they swapped picks, before they sent him to the Cavaliers. And he had that hip injury. He was doing exceptionally well. So... Hope for the best for him. Hope he gets better. Hopes he gets well. And, you know, he he is the Jaguars' cold sack leader, so like I said. And then as far as Mark Prody, keep, keep, keep striding. Keep building up. Keep doing what you're doing. You're already in the record books for beating Tom Brady, who was undefeated against quarterbacks that made their start. Uh, yeah, keep it up. Seahawks wide receiver Tyler Lockett has a broken bone in his finger. Uh, four TDs, no. So, yeah, he's in. He's in, um, questionable state. Like, he might play. Next game, he might be playing today. He might not be. I didn't look. But I know he's questionable right now. And it's going down. Colts did lose. So, basically, week 16, let's just say it like this. Week 16 had some crazy, crazy, it was just a crazy week. Just, just, just in general. Coast was up 33-0 against the Vikings, right? Vikings scored 39. Basically, it was 39-3 in the second half. The Colts only managed to score three points in the second half. Three in the second half. Couldn't score any, anything more. Mass only scored three points in the second half. Now, y'all got to look at yourselves for that and be like, what in the world is going on? Like, that's not only is that bad, it was bad for Matt Ryan because this is his second time being up like that, up big and losing. Remember in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. So this is the largest deficit in the regular season, but... It's twice that a quarterback, like, you're in the history books as being up big and losing and a team coming back and lo- beat you. Not once, but twice. For two different teams. Twice. That's got to give you motivation to not allow that to happen, to push forward, to keep going. That's what they got to do. Because... If you don't, you're going to look back on history like, man. Like, you don't want to be in the history books for that. But you are. You know, like, ain't you the quarterback that lost to? Yeah. How how you, how you going to explain that? 
I don't even know how to explain that. So, feel bad for them. And, like I said, crazy weekend. A lot of these games came down to down to the wire. One of them, I wanted to uh, throw my remote at the TV. And that was the Patriots. My, keep in mind, for those who don't know, I am a Bears and Patriots fan. And I've always been a Patriots fan. Not a bandwagon fan, but I've always been a Patriots fan. So, keep in mind. I was heated. Because it was 24-24. With like four seconds left on clock. We want to try to do a Statue of Liberty pitch it back play. And it, all we had to do was just get tackled. We could have went to overtime. Once we, like we threw a hair mirror, we caught the ball. And we made it across the midfield. One, I would have just let them tackle me. It was no time on clock. We would have went to overtime. That game would have went to overtime. I'm, I'm just saying, I would let it go to overtime. Here's what happened. When they threw it back, who is it? Jacoby Myers. He threw it back towards Mac Jones. And he thought Mac Jones could continue to play and make the play, but why would you throw it back? Again, I would have just got hit and we would have went to overtime. Which allows the Raiders to pick it off and run it back in the end zone. And that's how they won the game. So it was a walk-off pick six. Me, Percy, like I said, 24-24, I'm going to take my chance at overtime. Because it's like once you get score seven, well, I should say if they kick a field goal, you still got a chance to score. I would have took it to overtime. I got a confidence in my quarterback skills to do that. I got confidence in my defense to get a stop. They've been making stops throughout the game. With the exception of Waller and Jacobs getting off, but they still been getting stops. That's why the score is 24-24. So, me, I would, like I said, I would have let the game go to overtime, but that was one game. We had five games came down to buy close score. Uh, Philadelphia, Chicago. Bears, I figured the Bears was going to lose that game, but all their games been close calls. One score possession. We was almost there. We got this. Pil- we had a penalty against us. We we dropped a pass. But they lost to Philly. Philly twenty five to twenty. So, not a again one score game. The only game that wasn't really a one score game was Cleveland and Baltimore. Thirteen to three. The Buffalo game even came down to a one score. That came down to a last second field goal. And that was 29 32. The, the New Orleans Saints and Atlanta Falcons. That came down to a one score game. They lost by three. And so did Pittsburgh and Carolina. And Houston and Kansas City. All these games. Oh, yeah, and the Jacksonville-Dallas game, which was another good game because 40 to 34, Jacksonville take that win, but that was also on a pick six. That one, in that play, that ball bounced out of his hands and into the Jaguars receiver head who ran it in. And that game was in OT, so that was the – Win the victory in OT. So, like I said, this week, these set of games, you you know, some teams trying to clinch. Some people trying to get their playoff position. Some teams trying to get the higher seed. So, right now, Cincinnati is leading New England 12-0. to zero. Buffalo is 6-7. And then Baltimore is three to zero on Atlanta. So let's see how that goes. But 
That's what's going down in the NFL. Now, did y'all know that NFL teams basically pay $800 million on coaches that they fired? You got to think about how many coaches got fired this year. And they still was getting paid. A lot of them were still in contract. A lot of them had contract for like seven years and stuff like that. Matt Rule is a part of that bunch. That's a lot on coaches that's fired. A whole lot. Just saying. Um, Ravens did add Sammy Walkins off of Ravers. And Ravens have the sixth worth passing attack, so it hopefully that, you know, that helps him. This is his second stint with the team. So we'll see how that fares out, how that goes. And Deion Sanders basically was an over and out. He lost in the overtime throw of Jack the Jackson State final game. But he also was taking with him Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter announced that he's going to go to Colorado. He might take his son. Like, it's a lot of players that he might bring with him. But, like, a lot of people still, you know, flip-flopping about his decision to go to Colorado State. If he can make that program, turn that program into something, like he did Jackson State and uh, other historical black colleges, the man's amazing. Like, he about motivation, cheering up your players, boosting up players, and helping people win. That's what Coach Prime does. So, I'm all for it. I want to see what, what he does. I ain't going to say his first year, but maybe his second year. I want to see what he can do. Um, QB Dylan... Raiola, the number one recruit, he decommits from Ohio State and will be transferring to, was it Boise State? Well, yeah, he decommits from Ohio State. He originally was going to go there, but now he's going to go elsewhere. I don't know if I got the right thing, so I'll find that out, get the information later. And South Mississippi, Frank Gore Jr., had a massive day. He ran for 329 yards, three scores. And, and like I said, 329 yard day. Basically just running the ball. Y'all know that's the son of Frank Gore. The legend. The Hall of Famer. QB Bo Nix, he's returning to Oregon one more year. He's coming back. And TCU's Max Dugan will be entering a draft. And, yeah, we, we, we'll see where it be there. But I do got some more music on the way. I got Obi-Wan music. Party favors coming up. Followed by Yala, Lucy, and Fania. Check it out here on Drag Sports Live. You are listening and tuning in. To Drag Sports Live. Without further ado, Obi Wan music. Party favorites. Check it out here on Drag Sports Live. Savor your flavor I'm all up in your river It's good that I rock the boat If 
different strokes, yeah. And it's true, girl. Everything you do, girl. Ooh, girl, shows me that you're fucking with it. Ooh, we got that. Careful what you throw me. What's your fantasy? I wanna know. You know I, 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 I ain't playing around. Ain't trying to waste no time. So, baby, let's go. If you're down for the ride. She getting faded, so sick and tired of the fake shit. Yet I'm so fucked up, everything seems real. Lay your body next to mine. Stabbing in your eyes, I can't even lie. Munchies kicking in, body looking like a piece of pie. Oh, my sex so fly. Every time we link, all we do is drink. All I see is pink, like the cool cat from 92 when she 32. I can feel your vibe, shit is close to mine. Ain't finna rush, plus I need your touch. But keep it on the low, nobody needs to know me, and you can be ghost, but. You know how that shit goes, we too toxic, so Can you do me a favor? Let me savor your flavor I'm all up in your river It's clear that I rock the boat, different strokes, yeah And it's true, girl Everything you do, girl Ooh, girl, shows me That you're fucking with it Ooh, we got that Careful what you throw me What's your fantasy? I wanna know. You know I, 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 I ain't playing around. Ain't trying to waste no time. So baby, let's go. If you're down for the ride, you know the way that you touch me lets me know you love me. Yeah, you know, you know. I, I ain't afraid to go down to the bottom. I'll die. I'm not afraid to drown in your ocean. Scappavano tutti il mare 
restavi tu, ho ludo al Malibu Sono cambiato anche se non ci credeva la gente Cambio donne come jeans ma non lascia niente Sorrido perché ho sofferto Perché ho fatto del male e me lo sono anche riflesso Grazie all'amicizia sai che non mi sono perso Quattro anni che non sto con Giulia ma finiamo a letto Questa vita è strana, a volte lascio la mano in bocca A volte in petto brucia come lava eh. Oggi cosa è cambiato? Per tutto ciò che ho perso almeno so quanto ho guadagnato Fred. Luci in faccia cieca non giro fino alle sei Ma comunque vada dico che va tutto ok Ok, ok, ok Me ne vado che non parlo manco più con i miei Ma comunque vada dico che va tutto ok Now you speak in my language, I bend down, I look up, I see a cloud of my angels. As they approach, I know life gets to most of us often. But if my coffin come early, be expecting my ghost. I see bodies falling, mamas balling, phones is ringing, Jesus calling, reapers stalking, read the paper, ghosts are haunting, someone's coming, ghosts. Look. I've been inside of this vision, my GPS show me signs of collision, but I'm obliged to the fast and the furious, that's the fact that I'm driven, I'm curious, George, that's a up to the city, I'm talking DJ, somehow this Christian rap got litty, I suppose I play my part, but somehow I stay apart, if you support, I prefer that you feel me, we look silly when we going back and forth, trying to point out who's lost, when the truth is we all are really, seeking God or whatever you're looking for, the nights get chilly, they killed cornbread the other night, I was eating chili, me and Earl, that's when I knew this world couldn't heal me, a good jump shot for sure can get you 50 50 coming that's something you gotta pond on if they kill me don't lie when you let my mama know whatever news say is a go just put my brother on and keep him close he lied but let them choppers go for real my wife is worth more now than we ever had before and she know what to do now the rest is dominoes it'll all fall into place we had this talk before if they air my dirty laundry i'll just have them fold my clothes you never know how much you bless me because i hold my nose Every time I sneeze, I probably did the most. Say what you want to know. What's it all worth? My life finally brought the whole city to the church. Ghost. I may not get that with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. I see bodies falling, mamas bawling, phones is ringing, Jesus calling, reapers stalking, read the paper, ghost are haunting, someone's coming. Yeah. I see angels, now you speak in my language, I bend down, I look up, I see a cloud of my angels, as they approach, I know life gets to most of us often, but if my coffin come early, be expecting my ghost, a shepherd to the sheep, but they expecting the goat, gave you my life over the years, what you expecting to quote, I seen God quiet the storm from the back of the boat, so I don't get bent out of shape, you either sink or you float, unless you strong enough to swim, are you financially ill, the new ark is whatever you can't financially build, they can't even mourn for you, all you left is a bill, got them trading in degrees for a trade or a skill we're trying to live but we die by a daily design you're too smart you gotta dumb it down you're costing us lives stay inside it's best that you see the world through your blinds somebody shoot your house up knowing your weapon is mine over matter it don't matter it's just a matter of time matter of fact i got time i plan on dying for mine and ever since god sent his son i've been trying for mine i know when i go i leave a crown behind pick it up pick it up black sheep that fits we from the struggle where luxury is eating shrimp and grits Even a dark night had to climb from a pit. Be who you are long enough, you gotta prove you exist. If you don't fit into the box they created, the God they debated, be the only one who order your steps. It makes sense when you tell it to yourself, you better keep it to yourself. They don't understand it, so it's best that they hate it. That's why I vent like I do. High cools keep me in line at 622, we dying somehow to give me an advantage. It seems a sound mind can be seen. I never did panic. May everything I ever said never vanish. Go. Oh, I'm I get my strength.
aunt from my aunt. Definitely my auntie. New Siege! Featuring my man Al Harris and Days on 85. Shout out to Aunt Denise too. Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. That last song you just heard was by Siege. Ghosts. Here on Dragon Sports Live. And if you just tuning in, my name is Dante Payne and I'm your host. And you tuning in to Dragon Sports Live. You ask what Dragon Sports Live is? Well, it's a show that talks about baseball, football, and basketball. As well as we provide music from you. Local artists, independent artists, unsigned artists. If you are an artist and you have music and you know you got good music and you want people to hear that good music, send that music to dragonjumppro at gmail.com. And I will do my best to include you in the rotation of music that I already have from other artists. So if it's something new and it's upcoming, Oh, yeah, you're going to hear it on Dragon Sports Live. And you can also catch this show on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can even catch it on YouTube at D-O-N-P-E-1 or Dragon Jump Productions on YouTube. So, you have no reason to say I missed it, because if you missed it, you can always catch it. So, without further ado... We gonna go right into the NBA, cause I got some football to be watching too. So Nanika Agumie, she will be the union president again for the um, union president. So that was that was good. Big ups to her on that once again. Um, but let's talk about. These slew of games that I've watched over the past couple of days. One with the next. First game, we had Kyrie hit the buzzer beater. Now, believe it or not, that's his first career buzzer beater. And I don't mean like one shot before the buzzer. I meant directly at the buzzer. That was his first career buzzer beater. I thought when Cleveland won the championship, I thought that was a buzzer beater. But it was like still two seconds left, I guess. Which was an amazing game because I was with the chase down block as well, but that wasn't a buzzer beater. So he has hit game winners, but not directly at the buzzer. He hits that at the buzzer. Next game, they are up so much that you bring in your rookies and they continue to shine. And this was against the Bucks. By the way, who also had, who was still without Chris Milton, but they did get Joe Ingles back in the lineup. So that was good. Giannis still gave you like 30 points. But it was to the point where when he pulled the plug, when Coach Vaughn, Jock Vaughn pulled the plug, bringing everybody out, KD was like, I, I got a streak of 25. I just need one more basket. But he, it was all smiles, though. It, like, the team's looking good. You even got Ben Simmons contributing more, being a playmaker, being a defensive stop who was guarding Giannis pretty much most of the game as well. So it's like, they was looking pretty good. from Especially from what I've seen, the games that I watched, they was looking real good. Um, and I was, it was amazing. Another team who's been, who won their past couple games, the Chicago Bulls, everybody. So, They've been playing the Knicks and Hawks. It feels like they've been playing them about multiple games apart apiece. First game, the Hawks won. The next game, the Bulls won. And first game was a buzzer beat a tip-in. Second game was a tip-in by Ayo Desumu. So, that, that was good. Then against the Knicks. Last second bucket and free throw. He missed the free throw on purpose, gets the ball back. Bulls win, win that by a point. But, and he also beat the Heat without Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lurie, though, of course. But they still won. That's a three-game win streak. That's the first three-game win streak since February 22. 
So, big ups to them on that. And like I said, I was happy for them. I was happy for many other things, too. I was kind of happy that, you know, Memphis didn't have to do that to my words, but John Morant was kind of teed up because the last game he got ejected for talking to a fan about the refs, and he got teed up, and then he got ejected. So he was teed up, and he took it out on my beloved Warriors, who has the worst record on the road right now. We are without Steph Curry. He'll be reevaluating two more weeks, so we're without him. And the struggle has been real. Like, both our role games have been tough. And we just... We just can't catch a break right now. Can't catch a break at all. So it's like, ooh, the struggle's been real. Now, we did have, like, Heat was fined 25000 for listing all their players on the injury report and stuff like that, which it was like, okay, he li- they listed all their players on the injury report. All their players was banged up. Okay, big whoop. So, that's that. Um, Jokic and the Nuggets been doing pretty well. You know, he had the 40-2017 triple-double. Then he got the 13-13 triple-double. And big ups to them on that. You know, he joined Wilk to still chamber and then that rare 13-13-13. But at the end of the day, they doing fairly well. Lakers, on the other hand, you know, won their last four and six. Woo. But they'll be without Anthony Davis until January, possibly because he has a foot, a stressed foot injury. So we won't see him until then. We'll see what goes on there, how that goes. And then, as y'all know, Brittany Griner will be planning on playing in the 23 season. So, we'll see how that goes, too. And then, the Atlanta Dream there is then coach Tanisha Wright and general manager Dan Pandova through 2027. So, that's what's going on with the NBA right now. But, I will have more for you when I watch more games take notes, and let you know how these teams fared up as we move closer and closer, things will happen. So I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you in lights, and I'll let you know what's going on. But until then, I'm Dante Payne, and I'm signing off with another edition of Dragon Sports Live. Stay tuned to the next show. Peace out.